So you're on your way to Lima, Peru, and you're wondering what to do. So little time and so many things to cover. Well, today we're gonna bring you exactly that. We have really have a curated list of the top things to do in Lima. This is Lucas, who is from Lima. And I'm Sam, and I've lived in Lima over a decade. We're the co-founders of Lima Gourmet Food Tours. So we're gonna show you today our top 10 favorite things to do in Lima. Enjoy. So number 10, we have the Magic Water Circuit. What is it? It's 19 hectares of uh, fountains. It's actually the world Guinness record of uh, fountains in a, in, in a complex. It's not far from Miraflores. It's a nice activity for families. They have a laser show as well, a light laser show that is really cool. And it's a nice walk, a nice uh, couple of hours there. Uh, highly recommended. Number nine paragliding so what is so special about paragliding in lima the fact that you're doing it in the heart of the city right in miraflores so you get a great bird's eye view quite literally of the city and you're also along the cliff tops right along the pacific coastline so you're paragliding over the beach and over the city all at the same time really cool all right number eight we have the miraflores boardwalk or as we call it in spanish malecon of miraflores uh, what is it? It's uh, basically six miles, almost 10 kilometers of uh, uninterrupted parks built on top of the uh, cliff. There are different sections. Uh, you have the, the Reche Park where you can see the uh, um, simulations of the Nazca lanes. You have El Faro Park. You have like the very famous uh, shopping center Larcomar. Different things like the Love Park as well. So. For sure, when you're in Lima, you're gonna be walking around uh, the Miraflores boardwalk. Number seven, surfing. So as we mentioned, Lima sits right along the majestic Pacific coastline and you have beaches for all different levels of surfers. So you have sand beaches, you have rock beaches, you have little coves where you have kind of the lesser waves, you have more powerful waves, you have all the different places where you can rent your board, rent your wetsuit. So if you're up for some adventure, I recommend surfing. Number six, we have Monumental Callao. Not far from the airport, you have this, this area uh, called Monumental, which we really like because it has like art galleries like Fugaz, it has uh, uh, history and culture. You have the, the fortress of Real Felipe. It has, uh, for the adventurers, you can take a, a boat from, from there and swim with, uh, in the Palomino Islands with the, with the sea lions. So it has a little bit of everything for everyone. We really like Monumental Callao. Number five brings us to the historical center of Lima. So with that, we have our two main plazas that you can visit, Plaza San Martin or the Plaza Mayor. You have gorgeous buildings, right? So historical buildings like the Cathedral of Lima, like the Presidential Palace, or like the San Francisco Convent where you can actually see catacombs. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or you even have the oldest building there uh, in the center, Casa Liaga. So it's really gonna be a step back in time that is absolutely worth visiting. Yeah. Number four, we have the Wakas of uh, Lima, not to be confused with Shakira Waka Waka. <laughs> Wakas are ceremonial temples, pre-Incan ceremonial temples and administrative centers. It, right in the center of Lima, in the top uh, touristy districts like Miraflores and San Isidro, we have a couple of great examples. We highly recommend uh, Waka Puyana, where you can have like an amazing lunch or dinner right next to the pre-Incan ruins, it's amazing. Number three brings us to the Largo Museum. So this is a private museum and housed inside uh, an old Casa Hacienda. It houses over 40,000 pieces. It has a beautiful cafe, which is located right in their botanical garden. So it has beautifully curated dishes. And as a plus, you also have the erotic part, the erotic sala, all right, or room. So in this collection, you'll have wacos. And with that, you have an erotic collection. So Peruvian Kamasu in ceramics. So, interesting stop. <laughs> Number two is probably my favorite district in Lima, Barranco. Very artsy, very bohemian. You have like the lovely architecture. You have the Bridge of Sides that we will tell you more uh, about it. You have also street art, uh, galleries. It's fantastic. Uh, love Barranco. You can't miss it. Whatever else you do or don't do on this list, Barranco, you can't miss. Exactly. The moment you've all been waiting for, number one, 
food tours, Black obviously. <laughs> Lima has been named as a top culinary destination worldwide for over a decade. It is home to several of the top restaurants in the world. You have an amazing variety of ingredients, of stops, infrastructure. The city just lends itself to this. So clearly a food tour. If it's a Lima Gourmet food tour, that would be cool too, but there are a lot of options in the market, something for everyone, so definitely don't miss a food tour. Go on, Miss Lima, the food in Lima is amazing. amazing. Whatever you do, eat, eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> so in conclusion, don't make the mistake that many people do and allocate very little time to Lima. As you can see, there's loads of things to do in Lima for the foodies, for the adventurers, for the culture seekers, for the art seekers, for families, for everyone. Lima, it's a, a, a destination that will surprise you. So, if you liked our tips, like and subscribe, and we'll see you in Lima. See you in Lima.